Another one back here. There he is. There he is. Get the fuck out, man. Get the fuck out. Get out my road. Oh. <laughs> See ya. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. How is everybody doing? Did you guys enjoy the last few episodes? Episode 10 we just released it and uh, currently we went on walking a bit uh, from the town which is right over there. So we went through the city right here and we killed some Reptodons but I thought it would be kind of fun to just record it instead of start at the quest objective uh, or progress through this place. So it does seem like a lot of action packed awesomeness. Got him. I gave my boy Felix a flamethrower, and uh, well, Jesus, we're fine. At least I'm fine. You guys might be a little bit mentally scarred, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, so we gotta go up the hill right here. Let's go ahead and get our shoddy out. Looks like we're doing this. Jesus. God, that weapon just stays nutty. It's so good. It's so good. So this is her boy, I guess. We got him. Oh no, that's uh, Dr. Thingamajig, whatever his name is. Alright, so a family matter. Look for Tunner in the Amber Sun Summon Hills, which is 400 miles that way. Holy shit. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, um. Get my crit damage up. No. No. Healing. There we go. Sweet. Alright, so we should get some health back now, which is pretty good. And we leveled up. So let's go ahead and, um... Get my, uh, stealth up a little bit so we can start hacking some stuff a bit more. Maybe, maybe some inspiration. Hmm, what to do? Let's get two more points in that one, and let's put the rest in here. At least make them... There you go. So next time we're only going to have to put two points in both of them to get them both to 30. Uh, a perk point's available too. Okay. Um, my walk speed increase, damage when alone, tactical time dilation meter, no base health. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our health up a little bit because we are weak. We're weak. So let's go ahead and walk this place. Um, let's get some action in it, shall we? Boom. That's the last of them. That's the bloody last of them. Gotta fucking love this. This weapon is so good. It's actually insane. It's actually insane. Oh my god. Look at that damage, baby. This is our journey. That's what I thought. Alright, so this ep oh shit. Get fucked. Get fucked. We got some beasties here. God, I'm not dying at all anymore now. Just killing everything. This weapon is so freaking nutty. 
Ow! Poison. Poison! Alright, get the fuck out of here. I did. And where's the last one of them? Oh, he's right there. Oh, hoo -hoo, say ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Let's go ahead and collect all the fat loots they got stuck up here, which probably isn't that much, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So, how have you guys been enjoying the series so far? Any recommendations on the other stuff I could try around the game? If you guys uh, have been playing it yourself and figured something cool out that I could probably try out. And guys, quick reminder though, if you are enjoying the episode, don't forget to leave a like or comment down below. Simply just because it helps out the channel enormously. You don't even know. That shotgun is insane too. Holy crap. Crap. Exactly, don't mess with the bass. Okay, no, we gotta continue down the road. Which is this one, in order to get to the place where we're supposed to be heading to. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Ooh, titty. Where is he at? He doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Oh, see ya. See ya. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Shit. Oh, titty, see you later. All right, so we're carrying too much. <laughs> oh, that one's way better. Let's go and equip that one and drop. The weight's only one, huh? We need to drop 19. Jesus. Jesus, we're carrying some heavy stuff. What are we carrying that's so heavy? Um, value weight. This one weighs so much. That one weighs two and a half kilos. Oh, we can break him down for armor parts. I don't know if that actually will help me get unencumbered, but... Hmm. Oh, we need everything from that one, so... But how about we just get rid of some... Holy shit, we're over-encumbered by so much as well. What's this? Give me base health, base health. Maybe I don't need all of those, huh? They do sell for quite a bit, though, so... Uh, Jesus, man. Decisions, decisions. How about we just drop some weapons? This one's heavy as hell. Weighs five kilos. It's a grenade launcher. Let's get rid of that one. That one. And, um... This one. Right, can my companions carry some stuff that I have? They should, right? We also leveled up. Uh, melee, armor, ranged, base health, threat. Let's first get his base health up, and then we can start making him uh, generate threat as a tank. And Pravati, you're just gonna go ahead and do some D. You just go ahead and do some damage. Alright, let's continue. While I go figure out next time on how to actually... Uh, Make my followers carry my shit. I gotta really start filtering some of the food I carry with me because I do think I'm about carrying 40 kilos worth of food. Which in real life shouldn't be that much of a problem. <laughs> because I love to eat, baby. Incoming. Puppet Master YT loves the Puppet Master YE. Ooh, that was a close one. Another one back here. There he is. There he is. Get the fuck out, man. Get the fuck out. Get on my road. Oh! <laughs> See ya. God, I do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. 
That's good stuff. Alright, so let's fucking get on this bitch. So as you guys might know, uh, the 15th of November, I will be starting out... Um... Whatchamacallit? What's it called again? Um, Star Wars. Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order. Well, hello. Oh. And welcome to hey. the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. I would love a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophous truths, and the Graham? Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Gosh, blast it. Uh, I don't want any pamphlet anyway, just tell me who you are. On the other hand, I absolutely want a pamphlet. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Of course he does. With friends like him, I think you'll fit in just fine. We're the only free people in Halcyon, you know. No All right. operations, no shackles, no problems. Ah, the same thing as on the other planet. No cooperation means no paycheck. How do you survive without money? We make our own living here. Some of us hunt. Some of us scavenge the ruins left by the corporations when they abandoned us. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Earn my keep? One big f happy family, huh? Got it. See you around, Rose. I don't even want to know. Amber Heights. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? I don't know. Let's find her boy. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh, I'm Captain Puppet Master YT. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. I will. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Uh, Tucker, you're Agna's little boy from Stellar Bay, huh? See, I told you guys it was gonna be a 31-year-old. A little boy. 31-year-old man. Been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life <laughs> created a fear of danger down my throat. Danger! Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. I fucking knew it. Otters can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still <laughs> sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. I believe you, buddy. Relax. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. Uh, I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. So what do you want about it? She'll keep sending people looking for you. Um. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. That can be arranged. Ha! Huh. Felix Millstone, don't you dare. You know, <laughs> that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead... She won't look for me no more. Wow. You want to fake your own death to avoid talking to your mother. You're okay with her thinking you've died? Do you think that'll hurt her? If we do this, I need some proof that your body I found. I know it sounds... extreme. Well, a little. But I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. Uh, you're okay with her thinking you've died. Do you think that'll hurt her? I think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Sure, I guess. Oh, right. Uh, uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. Okay, uh, honestly, I think that's a bit extreme. Why don't you just grow the fuck up and talk to your mommy? But, um, you know what? Can't have it all. Some people are just pissies. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. <laughs> well, nature is beautiful, isn't it, darling? Isn't it, darling? Alright, 
So, after we walk that 400 miles, we should be able just to travel right back to Stellar Bay. And um, after this episode, I'm going to go eat. <laughs> I'm starving. I've, um... <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna bake an egg with the uh, bacon and stuff around it because I'm gonna do uh, breakfast for dinner because that's the way you're supposed to do your life trust me Oh, You're back. Please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? Jesus Christ woman You're insane lie. I'm sorry, but Tucker's dead. No, that can't be true. Not my little boy. Not my baby Yeah, wait. Are you sure it wasn't someone else? Maybe my little boy's all right. How could you know it was him? I found his ring on Tucker's that body. Tucker's ring. His daddy gave it to him and he never took it off since. How did you... No, no, it can't be. He's not dead, not my child, not my sweet Tucker. I promise I always look out for him. Take the money. Just please leave me to grieve. I will. Thank you for the money. So what do you guys think? I made a good decision. Honestly, I just think she's over obsessive. She's an obsessive ass mom. Kind of reminds me of my girlfriend, you know what I mean? Ha <laughs> ha, right. No? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, hey girl, how you doing? Drink chatter business. <laughs> uh, actually, n never mind, I'll catch you later. So we gotta get the medicine now, considering we just got the key to the pharmaceutical. And if I remember correctly, that is right here. So now we're just gonna go... Talk to her? Um... About Dr. Williams. Such a pity, isn't it? But I suppose it's an important reminder that one can have too much of a good thing. Even cost tolerating. Uh, enough sweet talk. I thought you were in charge around here, Ani. Um, no. No. Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll, eventually. I see. Uh, can't do that. My intimidator is not high enough. So, uh, what do we gotta do? Help Nayaka with her hangover, passion pills. Nayaka's willing to bring you the broker if you have the cure for her hangover. And it should be right there? No. This one, dispensary supply room. Uh, the Stellar Bay dispensary room. Alright, so we gotta use that. Uh, acid, Stellar Bay nav key now, book. Okay, so now we just gotta figure out where that room is, because I have no idea. This is where the toilet be. Oh, there it is. There we go, we did it. Shh, easy now. So I think we should be able to get it from here. Caffeinoid, we got it! 15k XP. Jesus Christ, they're not too subtle on that, are they? <clears throat> Alright, so we were, we're gonna put two points back in that one and two points back in that one. Beside that, um... I don't know what to do next. I think melee, three more points, would be pretty decent. Beside that one, let's put some more points into stealth. Uh, because I can. Alright, sweet. So, right now, let's go head back to my girl and give her her hangover medication. Now, I'm curious, guys. What is your hangover? <laughs> sure. Mine are McFlurries, the ice cream you get from the McDonald's. Works every time. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink chatter business. <laughs> More or less dangerous than a Another 20 grand in speed, Jesus. Give it here. Give it here. Whew. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? 900 bits, sweet. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. 
He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Devil's Peak, huh? We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? I love it. That's fun. That is fun. You're more of a spelunker. Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Oh, we gotta put someone. Felix wait on the ship or Vadi wait on the ship? You can only have two companions, huh? Um, let's go ahead and send per Felix back. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nioka. We're real excited to have you. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Nioka. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you huh. to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. All right, so where is it telling me to go? Oh, right here. All right, pretty fucking sweet. So before we're going to go ahead and do that, I want to thank you guys real quick for all the support you've been giving me. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. You guys are the absolute best, and without you, this all wouldn't be possible, and it wouldn't be half as fun. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!